Okay, first thing you want to do is combine like terms on the same side of the equal sign. So, I have a negative 3, a 6, and a 3. So 9 minus 3 is 6. So I have 2n plus 6 equals n minus 1. We get all the n's on one side. So I'm going to subtract n. That will get rid of that positive n and do it on each side of the equal sign. So when I combine like terms on this side, he's gone, that's why I did it. Uh, 2 minus 1 gives me just the n, 1n, we don't write the 1 because we're lazy, plus the 6. And then I'm going to subtract 6 from each side so I can get the n all by himself, and that's n equals negative 7. That's that one. Now, down here, I have parentheses. I need to get rid of those first. So I still have a 14 plus n equals negative n. So I have to multiply that to each one of these guys. Distribute it properly. Negative 3n, negative times a negative, negative times a negative, is a positive 9. Combine like terms. So it's 14 plus n equals negative 4n plus 9. Just added 1, negative 1 plus, my, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So I'm going to add 4n to both sides. And I'll get rid of this negative 4 and put all my n's on one side. So 14 plus 5n equals 9. Then I will subtract 14, subtract 14, 5n equals, that gives me a negative 5, 5 times n, the opposite of multiply is divide, so n equals negative 1. Here's another example. Get rid of the parentheses. Distribute. 9x plus 3 times 4 is 12 equals 2x minus 9. Get all my x's on one side. I could subtract 9x or I could subtract 2x. I usually do the smaller numbers so I have a positive x. Doesn't matter. 7x plus 12, I'm just combining the like terms, equals negative 9. Minus 12, minus 12, 7x equals negative 21. 7 times x, so divide is the opposite. What is 7 divided by 7? That's just 1. That gives me 1x, we just don't write the 1 because we're lazy. Alright, so there's how you solve a few equations.